Hi there. Um, so today I've got something a little bit different. Um, what I want to share is some thoughts and an email thread that uh, actually goes back to last year, about a, a full year ago. So I was just cleaning out my, my email inbox today, and this is the, the bottom email in my inbox, and it's been there for just over a year. Um, so finally getting around to, to addressing this, um, and I thought that I would just make a quick video to, to talk through sort of what's going on here. So this is an email that I got, and I get a number of emails like this every once in a while, but um, this is a really nice email from Dave. So thank you very much, Dave. It says, hi, Tony. Thanks for making great videos. They are super helpful. I was wondering if you have considered making future videos about how to study chemistry. You have reached a level of mastery understanding what's going on in these problems, and I think most of us, the audience, are just plugging and chugging and missing the true understanding. And I think that this is spot on. This is a big extra step. It's a big extra issue that we really do need to, to address. Um, could you offer some tips on how you got so good? Thank you for your time. And again, thanks for the videos. Best regards, Dave. So a couple days later, um, maybe five days later, I'm not sure how many days are in April, but um, a couple days later, I responded to Dave and said, hi, Dave. Thank you very much for your kind words. I have thought about making study tips videos, and I, and I have, but I just haven't found the, the time or the right format for producing what I have in mind. I think it's a really challenging um, uh, thing to do. It's a really challenging uh, subject uh, to, to, to tackle. So I just, you know, at that point in time, I just hadn't really come up with something. I think eventually I will, though, and your email just reiterates my desire. This is the really important bit, bit here. I think the biggest thing that I see is focusing too much on the answer. And when I was an instructor, I, I definitely saw this in my students. And not enough on the process. I'm huge on process. If you have a good process, uh, the results are going to come. If you don't have a good process, um, the results aren't going to come. So for instance, a lot of times when students are working problems, they will arrive at an answer, check the back of the book, uh, see that they got it right, and immediately move on to the next question. This doesn't give your brain a chance to reiterate what you just did is correct. So every time you finish a problem, and you really need to hold yourself accountable for this, um, I would often tell my students to confront the problems. You know, really sort of put it front in, in your mind, front and center, that, that you need to confront each problem, each, each instance that you're looking at. Um, so every time you finish a problem, you need to go back through your work and make sure you really understand why you did each manipulation and what each step means and represents. Um, it's not enough just to sort of know this is what it's supposed to look like, um, this is what I'm supposed to do. If you can't understand why you're doing each manipulation, then you're really missing out on, on you know, building that level of mastery. This is what studying actually is, not just redoing problems again and again. You know, I saw many students who just sort of um, beat themselves up by, by doing problems again and again and again and again and again and just sort of memorizing the, the algorithm to do the problem, that's not the point, right? You could do, you know, um, don't work harder, work smarter, right? You don't need to do a million problems if you really understand the why for each step of the problem. Um, so again, uh, not just redoing problems again and again, it's digging into the why of each step and searching for the deeper connections. Uh, unfortunately, this type of deeper study is not often taught or encouraged, um, and I think that that's very true. You know, we don't really talk about metacognition or Bloom's taxonomy, higher levels of learning, uh, and we really should. Um, anyhow, maybe somewhere in that ramble or in this video, you find something useful. I'll keep making videos, although I have sort of stopped recently. I've taken a new position, um, and and I and I haven't been making videos lately, so this is sort of my way, maybe, to get back into it. Uh, and keep thinking about how to answer your question more fully. Thanks again for your note, Tony. Uh, so Dave did respond back, and I did want to share what he wrote because I thought that it, it um, sort of hit the nail on the head. Uh, Hi, Tony. Thanks for taking the time to respond to my email. I can imagine you're pretty busy, so it means a lot. You're very welcome, Dave. Thank you for the note. Uh, sorry it took me a year to get to it. <laughs> um, I have to be honest. Reading your email, I was shaking my head and saying to myself, of course, it's something that simple, which makes so much sense. I kind of feel like Forrest Gump catching the football and running through the end zone and out the, of the stadium when I'm doing chemistry problems. And I think this is a, a great analogy. Um, you know, this really shows exactly that you understand, um, you know, that, that, that there's a reason behind these things, right? It, 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 it's, yes, you know, uh, he, he scored a touchdown, um, right? But he didn't know what he was doing or why he was doing it. 
And if you're doing that when you're you're doing your chemistry problems, you're missing out on that that big extra portion, that big extra chunk. Um, so great advice, and I think you should paste that paragraph somewhere others can read it. Um, so a year later, I'm making a little video. Uh, absolutely spot on. Thanks again for the advice. Now when I suggest your videos to friends, I can say, yeah, Tony once told me. Well, you can also point your, uh, your friends to this video as well, Dave. Um, so thanks a lot. And uh, hopefully someone else finds this, this useful. But I think um, you know, this, this thought process, uh, that's, that's really the key. And, and I always want, like to go back to the process the process of learning, the process of sort of, you know, the way that you live your life, you know, get a little philosophical here, but um, if you have a good process, the the results will come. Um, you know, that's the most important thing. Just do the things that you should be doing and the results will come. And sometimes it takes time. You have to be patient, but um, really focus on that process. You know, ask yourself, hold yourself accountable, confront the things that you don't know. Um, if that's the process that you're going through, then ultimately you'll, you'll be successful. All right. Thanks a lot.